Uh, does he make a good king? You, you've written a book about it in your view. What do you think? Yeah, I think he's uh, been a very impressive king in a very short time. I mean, he was having to take over from the longest reigning, longest lived monarch in British history. Um, that was a huge challenge. I mean, stepping into the shoes of Elizabeth II was always going to be a big a big ask. Um, and I think at the time of that sort of transition, there were a lot of people saying, oh, well, uh, you know, this, these are dark days for the monarchy. Charles is going to, uh, he's going to veer off into politics. There's going to be constitutional problems. There's going to be problems with popularity. Actually, what we've seen is the monarchy doing what the monarchy does? As I said earlier, it's about stability, continuity. It's got on with it. I mean, British politics has been in quite a uh, quite a state. Um, mm. In the same week he became king, uh, Liz Truss became prime minister. That didn't last long. Um, but what I think is interesting is that in less than a year and a half of his reign, it's now fully appreciated, understood, acknowledged that he's the king that the monarchy just sort of ticks along. Uh, people have stopped talking about, uh, you know, the fact that there's a new king. It's just, it's just been understood until the news came out uh, first about his his uh, enlarged prostate and then this cancer diagnosis. Mm. Uh, the monarchy had gone back to being what the monarchy is best at being, which is boring, is getting on with the yeah. job, is being dutiful, is is is, is doing, doing the stuff we want it to do. Uh, and that's where we were. And I think to get to that point in, in, in less than a year and a half uh, was, was quite an achievement. 